RB Battles, probably the best Roblox event in years. For the past two years, we've had an abundance of boring sponsored events. And it was a refresher to have a well-made event that challenged a peanut-sized Roblox brain. From the concert to the finale, RB Battles has been filled with twists and turns, ups and downs, and most importantly, fun. This video will an analyse the games, bits, lobby and the finale finale battle games. We will start off with the first game in this year's calibre, Piggy. The map was interesting. Many people found the idea of escaping the evil judges interesting. The second game was Funky Friday. The hobby was, let's say, hard before the nerf. The hitboxes were giant. The music side was close to impossible for someone like myself who don't play music games. After the nerf, it was way too easy. No challenge except for a few jumps. Shopping Wars. Many people loved the map. It was detailed and quite interesting take on space. However, many people found the game laggy and making it impossible to beat it. And it seemed pay to win as the better cart the more items you could check out. Bloxburg. Nothing more to say than the maze was cool. Super Golf's mapped, which many people believe was interesting. The challenge was not impossible, but still hard. However, with the nerf allowing VIP, it made it easier to get it under 11 minutes. Many people believe the Wacky Wizards challenge didn't link up with the game itself, instead based more off Jando's other game, Hellrun. However, many people love the idea of potions giving boosts. Tower of Hell, what else can I say than the, than the game's title? It was a Tower of Hell. The challenge was hard, but not impossible. Arsenal. This badge was extremely hard. If you hadn't have played it before, it took ages to complete it. Many people wanted it to be nerfed, but this came with 15 seconds extra time. Sonic Speed Simulator. Many people believe this challenge was hard. Some say impossible. Some people hated the idea of you. If you die, it will restart the switches. Adopt me was just boring and basic. Your average basic tiny brain noob game. Build a boat was quite easy. Many people believe that it was just a copy and paste from last season. Jailbreak was interesting. Many people love the idea of an obby and it incorporated the idea of stealing. Finally, the last game to get the winner's wings was Mount Everest. Many people's opinions was that it was basic and didn't link up with RB battles. The bits. The bits. The first bits to be found was Russo's Resonator. Many people believe the challenge to get this bit was interesting. The idea of searching for incorporate the idea of the bit being missing. The second bit was in Shopping Wars, Cyber Shredder. The game incorporated made a right mess out of it. Um, the challenge to get the bit was flooding the toilet and the worst part was the candy floods as the pipes were way too close together. The boss fight was fun between us and Bob. It got us ready for the final battle. Now, finally, DJ's drums. The idea of having Piggy and Arsenal's question mark, question mark, question mark badge made it interesting as now you had to go to find their hidden badges too. Many people love how the boss fight followed on from last season's. Overall, the idea of the bits were cool. Instead of getting them instantly, you had to redeem a, redeem a Mr. B's. However, however, the idea of the gold bits could have been executed better. The lobby. Many players found the lobby detailed and quite cheerful. Many love the idea of secrets being hidden across the outer city and inside the main part. Many loved how the event was going on. The lobby changed. We don't know. We still don't know the full information of the lobby, like the idea of the sun and why Mr. B was trying to help us. Many love the idea of the lobby. Lobby being confusing and quite disorientating. However, the log lobby was a laggy mess. The items. Overall, the items were boring. The bits were a horrible copy of the swords. They didn't combine well and they often had Z fighting. The wings looked cool but they were way too thin. And the crowns looked like a crappy UGC copy. If the crowns were larger and sat on your head, they would look better. The only nice item was the hood. The finale. This finale was quite hard, from trying to find the code to open the door to try killing GP. We started, we'll start with the train. To start the event, it was quite annoying to get the codes instantly. 
and without it you would have thought you did it correct as you had to fight bots but you had to redirect the train if you arrived at the giant bot it would kill you the construction zone was the place where you had to go at the construction zone you had to collect energy to use your resonator to control the bots if you were stuck if not you were stuck in a never-ending loop of killing bots in the middle of each part there was a conveyor obby at the end of this part you had to jetpack towards the turrets to override them to kill the giant bot this bit was the hardest um, when we arrive at the security bit, you have to complete an obby where robots are firing at you. After you beat the obby, you have to go through some security cameras, what often glitches you, killing you. To complete this bit, override the PC. After you override it, you have to get four bits, chips. This bit was what many players found the hardest. After you get rid of the... F so, after you beat security, you go into a more confusing part, the factory. To do this, you have to open parts of the maps to get rid of the fire. After you get rid of the fire, you get teleported to the Battle Dome, where DJ and Sabrina trick you into starting mini-games. You fight multiple YouTubers. The first match was the hardest, Ibella in the Lava Rising game. The semi-final was Creek and Tankio in Target Town. The battle back was Dennis in Simulator Scrimmage. The final was Pinkleaf in the Mountain game. This was difficult as you had to find all the buttons and Pink got an advantage with a parachute. If you beat this, you opened up a portal to a desert island. In this area, you had to gain energy to stop a black hole from being opened. At the same time, you had to gather three crystals to activate the, the crab robot. You use the crab robot to find the card. If you lose energy while looking for the card, you get teleported right to the start. After you beat the crab bit, the maze, you get teleported to a maze. The maze was just random and was full of jump scares. When you finish the maze, you find out who the bad guy is. is. It's a battler who took part in season two. The final battle followed the law from season two and GP was fighting the judge's corruption from last season. GP is inside the giant bot. You will have to try and fight him and then slightly kill him before he destroys your bot. The final part is you trying to kill him by chasing after his car and destroying his force field when you nearly kill him he flees the car then falls off the edge and you travel through the metaverse to claim your crown overall many people found, believe the final battle was hard and interesting it was fu full of law and left you with more questions than answers how to improve in season four to improve the rb battles team will need to make it more catered to mobile players as you couldn't do the obby bits inside the final battle. Stop massive and nerfing and overall make the items better. What I liked. I love how the law was interesting and followed it from season 2. I love how the games all interlinked. We have to appreciate this event as it will be the last proper events for many years. We should, as a community, not rush the deaths, devs and allow them to work on this fantastic event. Overall, I do hope that we get a season four because Sabrina in one of her YouTube shorts said this might be the last event of the caliber. So hopefully we do get an event. So now to t time to end this event video with a bang. So let's go end this video with a bang. Now this will be the end of RB Battles Season 3. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope you have gotten the crown of courage. Good luck if you haven't already. Goodbye.